Jacob and Emily just found out their front yard was messed up, which is a shame because it took Emily quite a few days to set it up. Such a bummer. Hey kids, watch where you're kicking that ball next time. Any chance you can salvage these wood pieces? I'm sure they can be used for something. There it is, Jacob. Once you've collected the sticks, set them aside for a second and grab yourself an A3 sized sheet of paper. Bend it in half and use scissors to cut out a heart symbol. Cut out the wood pieces and lay them down within the outline. Use hot glue to connect all the sticks together. Three wooden pieces should be strong enough to keep it intact. Add a short rope and glue the sides. Now flip it over. We won't need the paper anymore. Lastly, use acrylic paint with a sponge and layer it on. Acrylic paint works best to color the wood and give it some personality. Good job, Jacob. You saved the day and really crafted your way into Emily's heart. It's a brand new day for Emily. As long as the sun is out, let's get those flowers some vitamin D, shall we? Darn, that's a bummer. How many light bulbs did you change this month already? It's time to go eco-friendly. Meanwhile, let's put these light bulbs to good use. I feel like Emily has a trick under her sleeve. First, you'll want to deconstruct the light bulb using pliers and remove the electrical footing. Now grab an awl and make a couple of holes on the opposite sides. We'll use them for a wire hanger. Now lastly, just pour in some water and stack it with flowers inside. That's it. Just hang them on your curtain frame using jute ropes. Nature and technology working together can be magical. Emma has been working on one of her old puzzles she found under the bed. Unfortunately, it looks like she might be missing quite a few pieces. It's crazy how easy it is to lose them. Can't find those missing puzzle pieces? Don't throw it out just yet, Emma. Especially when you have the frame laying in the bin. Although it's all scratched, it can still do the job. Let's combine these two items instead. Simply use some hot glue to stick your cardboard puzzle pieces all over the frame. Spray some paint outdoors and you've got yourself a newly redesigned picture frame. Fill the photo inside and you're done! Jess is going through some clothing ideas she found in various fashion magazines. Oops, so much for the newly set up corkboard. It literally got shattered to pieces. Is all of it going into the trash? I think you just came up with a genius idea there, Jess. Lay down the cork board and use a utility knife to cut out a hexagon shape. Paint it, but make sure to use sticky tape for some cool outlines. The best part about hexagons is that they fit together perfectly, giving you a neat visual on the table while having your friends over for some tea. Well, good morning, Jacob. How did you sleep? Ready to grab your daily news? Oh wow, it looks like your paper boy is getting better with his throwing skills. So much for customer satisfaction, right? Let's salvage this baby by placing your broken pot in a saucer. Then fill in some soil on the unbroken planter side and secure the remaining broken pieces within the soil together with a couple of small plants. Continue to add marble, wooden, or rock accessories and or pretty much anything you have laying around. Ancient toy castle? Why not? Jacob, that looks way cooler than the typical planner you would see in a garden. The redesigned pot looks like a miniature fairyland. Hopefully no more breaking news. <laughs> Madison is quite hungry and her mighty fridge, surprisingly, still has a sandwich in there. Lucky her. One hour later, tomato, tomato, mm, why not? One more hour later, cauliflower. That's all you got, love? Hey, it's moldy. No, don't throw it away just yet. You can still use the other half, right? Or at least save the day with a cool hack. <laughs> First, grab yourself a plastic bowl. Fill it up with cement. Two thirds should do the trick. And add some water almost to the top. 
Find a spoon and give it a serious mix. This is where the cauliflower comes in. Flip it and neatly dip it into the bowl. Leave it overnight and then the next day, remove the vegetable. Flip the bowl and drop out the piece. At this point, you might want to sandpaper the vase. Go ahead and give it a quick paint job. Perfect, you're done. What an affordable vase, thanks to the cauliflower detailing. Feel free to fill it up with all your drop-in accessories. <laughs> I see those crafts didn't kill your appetite, Madison. Hey, Crafty Pandas! I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. Jacob found a new hobby for himself as a mini garden enthusiast. He's been taking care of his plants for a couple months now. Sadly, it looks like one of his green babies just died. And so did his light bulb. Obviously, this has made him a bit too emotional. Jacob, you need to relax. Wait, don't throw it out. We might actually be able to combine these two lost items to create something new. Using pliers and a screwdriver, we can carefully deconstruct the light bulb. Broken glass can be dangerous, so be cautious and always use safety gloves to protect yourself. Grab a screwdriver to remove the electrical foot. Next, we are going to use our pliers to remove the glass mount. The remaining parts can be emptied out with some thorough shaking. Place the bulb atop a glass or cup for supporting during the next step. Use a funnel to pour some sand inside. Take something like a chopstick to even it out. Once again, use the funnel to drop a handful of white gravel. A bit of moss for that nature vibe. Lastly, place our green baby inside in order to bring our light bulb to life. Place the light bulb piece on a driftwood for a lovely beach vibe. Perfect! Jacob reused his broken light bulb to give his cute little plant a home. Anna is a complete bookworm. Unfortunately, it seems as though Anna's bookshelf can't handle any more books. She obviously has too many books and some of them need to be removed. For example, this book is a total waste of time, and these two are simply outdated. All of them deserve to be reused for a more useful purpose. Let's grab several of these useless books and use some super glue to build a book tower. Purposely stack them in a slightly rotated fashion while still keeping the overall structure centered. Add as many books as you would like. I find 15 is usually a good number. Open the top book and using a razor, cut out a square shape through some of the pages. Paint the whole shelf white. There we go, Anna managed to reuse her unwanted books and created an eye-catching nightstand, which sets the mood perfectly for a bookworm reading session. Not only can it be used as a coffee stand, but it can also double as a secret place to store midnight snacks. Now, now, every bookworm deserves a bit of sugar once in a while. Jacob is about to rock out to some vinyl at home. That slight hiss is just so soothing to the air. Unfortunately, he dropped his cup and damaged one of his vinyl records. Wow, Jacob, classy move. Not sure if it's playable, buddy. Maybe we can still put this vinyl to good use. Yes, it's definitely damaged. Using a ruler and a razor, create a single line on the outer edge of the inner circle. This is where we grab our lighter and light things on fire. Just kidding. Be careful though. Melt the line and gently bend the record in a 90 degrees angle. 
Give it a minute to cool it off and you're done. Your bent vinyl can now be used as a sofa coaster, which is going to provide you with a solid surface for your daily coffee. No more spills. This funky piece can also be used as a wall shelf to display your favorite items or bookends. Good job, Jacob. The show must go on. Hey, panda lovers. I hope you enjoyed these packs. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for more.